All right, guys, welcome back to another Dragon Champions video. This is Ali Plays, and today we're going to be doing a list of do's and don'ts for Dragon Champions. First thing on my list is if you're going to spend any money, I would definitely get the Freezar pack. So this is offered to you in the beginning of the game when you start. I don't know why this is going for a little baddie right now. <laughs> so this is Freezar. So you're going to be getting like a $2.99 offer uh, to get Freezar. He's a fighter. He's a mage. He's a Dragon Slayer. Powerful. He's pretty powerful champion. He's got 77% popularity. And he synergizes very well with Snorri. So this is how they synergize. Snorri gains 50% magic armor and 50% tenacity while not in Berserk sense. Freezar is on the battlefield. He receives the same buff. And as you increase it, it's going to be 30% 30% for both tenacity and magic armor. And they're both going to have that ability. So they synergize very well with each other. And then he also gives a buff to Snorri where he gives him cheat death. So they're very, very good together. So that's the first thing that you guys should do. Uh, if you guys are going to spend anything, then go for that. Uh, let's talk about the Dracoins for a bit. They're the premium currency in Dragon Champions. Uh, so far, they are not too stingy with them. So, so it's best to use your coins on energy refreshes. So for energy refreshes, if you are uh, going to be uh, free to play, highly recommend doing the 50 energy. So you can do the 50 energy refresh three times. The next time is going to be 100 energy. 100 Dracoins to refresh your energy. And uh, if you do it three more times after that, it's going to be 200. And then it keeps going progressively higher and higher. So I would... Just recommend doing the 50, 50, and 50 if you're going to be free to play. Because you, otherwise you're going to run out of the Dracoins too quick. And you also get auto battle tickets as well. You get 20. So I have 1,820 auto battle tickets. Number three, make sure to complete the missions. As it is a great way to level up and receive shards for champions. So in the, when you first start off the game, there's one slot over here that uh, shows your missions. For doing specific things, uh, including clearing uh, campaign stages. Leveling up your champions, equipping specific type of runes. If you uh, complete it, you get a lot of experience and a lot of uh, pretty good items, I would say. Help you level up your profile so you can unlock uh, guilds. And then you can unlock raids, unlock tower, unlock arena. Uh, the tower, try to unlock this as soon as possible. Because it's a good source of drag coins, ability scrolls, uh, hero stones, basically everything. Number four, so be sure to log in every single day. So Dragon Champions has daily login rewards. Uh, unlike other games, like uh, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> yeah, I took a shot at Raid Shadow Legends. And it looks to feature different champions every month. So the month of October, uh, they're giving Adam. Adam is not a very good champion, but hopefully next month they give a different uh, champion that is better. They give a lot of drag coins, 50, 60, 65. Ability scrolls, experience tombs, money. Not real money, gold. Yeah, so overall it is very, very good. I'm pretty sure for special, maybe there's going to be different daily login rewards. Maybe during the Halloween uh, celebration. So yeah, make sure you guys log in every day. Number five, you're given energy three times a day uh, for free. And you can also watch an ad in game to receive three more energy refreshes throughout the day. It's a win-win. The devs get some money and you guys get some energy. So if you click on daily quest right here, it says energy is given daily at 12, 6, and 9 p.m. Uh, during that same time, 12, 6, and 9, you can also get double energy if you want to watch an ad. So... Free energy says available in 1 minute and 20 seconds. Currently, before version 1.1, so this video will come out before the update, uh, there is a bug with the ad, so you got to force close your game, open it up and watch the ad, and then you will get your energy. The bug was that people were not getting their energy, so that's how you um, work your way around it. That's a workaround. So after version 1.1, that should not be an issue anymore. So try your best to do the daily challenges. They give great rewards and can be auto-battled after the first clear with 3-star rating. Right now, the bottlenecks are ability scrolls. So this one is definitely going to be need to do it. And you can check requirements here. You can click on the requirements. So I'm on the uh, challenge eight here, level 47 plus, gear level six plus. So try to complete the one that you're all comfortable with. You can get three stars in and then just auto it. And then you should be able to auto it until you unlock the higher stages. So I highly recommend doing that. It's a good source of resources, uh, including gear, gold, and uh, ability scrolls, as well as combat tombs. Number seven get craggy so craggy is a good early uh hero early game if you were playing this game brand new there was an event for him under the events tab uh it says legendary event where you can give by completing you can get craggy so you can unlock craggy and then you can actually uh get him i think up to three or four stars but craggy is a good early game hero so he's capable of boosting ally speed and dealing aoe uh, magic damage there's a kagi right here i don't know why i call him craggy yeah this is kagi so he is good early game not so much late game. He can boost your allies, uh, do AOE damage, and he synergizes with Bori, but we I don't have Bori. So number eight. So this is very important for games like these, such as hero collector games. So you got to remain focused. Try not to farm too many heroes at the same time, as it will drain your energy fairly quickly. So energy runs out pretty fast in this game. 
because there are auto battles and you can skip stages or simulate stages. And try to choose four champions to farm a day until they are at six or seven stars depending on your play style. This is how I currently farm. So how I farm is I pick some champions like say Hera. So I farm straight from here. I don't farm uh, from the campaign stages. I don't click on campaign and then look what I need to be farmed. I just click find right here. So that is a tip right here. You can farm your champions directly from their pages. And then I just go next. Trongor I know I can't farm. Kira. Uh, Salvador I know I can farm. So I click find. That's my second champion that I'm farming. Uh, Venome I can farm him. He has one node only so far. That I have unlocked. So I farm him from there. And Illyria, I'm not farming anymore. Same with Mortha, I already have our five stars. Uh, Rantha as well, but I'll probably finish her off. Yeah, so don't farm too many nodes at one time. Right now, I highly recommend farming orcs. So that should be your priority right now. Just farm orcs, farm their nodes. <laughs> Even though I say you got to farm orcs, make sure you guys farm Hera as well. Hera and Salvador, they are a great combination. So another thing I want to talk about is composition. Make sure you guys are trying to make a team with some good composition. It's very important in this type of game. Some champions work really well together and you should try and play around with it and see how see what you like best. Number 10, make sure to finish your dailies. So make sure you finish your dailies. It is a great way to quickly advance in this game. Plus you get Corcrim shards. So that will help you um, get your five star champion so you can get ready for the Solius event. Corcrim is a pretty good champion. He has AOE stun. He's part of the Orcs faction. Every single day you can obtain five hero stones for Corcrim. So I would highly recommend completing all your daily quests because once you complete all of them, that's when you get the five Corcrum shards and you get a, a pretty good source of XP for your EXP for your player profile. Don't summon a champion right away. So when you get enough hero stones, as you can see, I have enough hero stones. So whenever you summon a new champion, you'll be given a very good offer. So if you're going to spend, it's best not to summon old champions at once. So I can show you an example because I have two champions here that I can summon. Uh, we'll summon old lore. So right when I click summon on old lore. I will be given an offer when I back out from this page. So backing out, this is the offer right here. So it's going to give me enough hero stones to get him to the next uh, star level. And it's going to give me a bunch of energy, uh, auto battle tickets, these bottlenecks right here. And you can actually use these on other champions. So don't think that you only have to use on this champion. So right now it's $15 because it's based on my account level. So it's going to get me to gear level 6. But if you guys do it when you're early into the game, it's going to be like 2 bucks or something like that. So it's actually a better offer the lower your player level is, uh, which I don't really like. I think I should talk to the developers about that. Uh, maybe not make it that high. Maybe not include that many things. Maybe people just want the uh, hero stones. So we'll talk about that. So so the issue with this was I just summoned old lore, right? If I click summon on old, on little baddie, I'm not going to receive the offer for her uh, as of right now. But version 1.1, uh, this will be fixed. So for now, so for now, if you guys want to spend... I would recommend doing it one at a time. Don't level up too many heroes at once. So you'll, you're you not going to feel the lack of gold in the game until you progress further in. But there are a lot of bottlenecks in this game, such as gold and blue scrolls. So make sure you guys are just leveling up. I would say maybe 10 champions maximum in terms of levels. So focus on 10 champions. When those champions get maxed out, then you start working on other ones. So five of them would be orcs for sure. This is it in terms of leveling up, not farming. Five of them would be orcs and try to get... If you want, you can go for pandas. For me, I'm going with the Hera and the um, Kera, Salvador, and Venomate, and with uh, a healer. Team, don't ignore the arena. So the arena is a great source of uh, for Dracoins and arena tokens. So these two currencies will help you progress further into the game. As you can see right now, I'm ranked 97. So I'm getting 100 Dracoins a day when payout comes and 600 arena tokens. I want to get to a point where I can obtain uh, maybe rank 5, so 800 tokens and 300 Dracoins. Be good for me. So what are we going to do with your tokens? So you can use these um, drag coins for the energy refreshes throughout the day. And then you can use these arena tokens in the shop. So highly recommend going for Mar or Salvador. Mar is just for the preparing for the Solius event, the legendary event. If you guys want to know more information on the Solius event, you guys can go check out my video on that. Yeah, that's what Mar is for. But Salvador is one of the best tanks in the game. So highly recommend going after that. Try to give him the seven stars. <laughs> Uh, don't ignore the tower. So although the tower can be a challenge, it will help you in terms of rewards and will allow you to test out hero combinations. Try and get to level 35 ASAP to unlock the tower. You can also check out my tower guide video. If you want more details on the tower, I go over uh, the rewards and strategies in the tower, collaborating with uh, be, be a Dragon Champion, the INFO. So you guys can go check that out if you want. Uh, version 1.1 should be coming out early 
next week. So I'm recording this video on the October 26th. I don't know if, if version 1.1 will be out by that time. But when version 1.1 is out, stages 9 to 12 are going to be much easier. So they're going to, not much easier, a little bit easier. So they're going to be a little bit of a balance change. Don't upgrade one dot runes to max level. So what I mean by one dot runes is these runes right here. So I do actually have one dot runes that are uh, pretty high in level. So they should be used as placeholders until you can farm better runes. Uh, as of the making of this video, three dot runes are the strongest in the game. And while I'm at, I'm going to show you guys how you can farm runes as well. So you can click on here and then you can also filter whatever you want to search for. So this is like north, whatever, south. I don't know. I don't know how that I don't like how they label them. Southeast, southwest, things like that. So what you can do is if you're looking for a specific piece, want to farm a specific piece, let's say I want to farm a better one, root of armor. I click find and I want this one, right? And then click armor. And then you can click any tiers of them. I'm going to click any, it doesn't matter to me. We're going to look for two dots because that's all I can farm right now. So yeah, I can actually farm two dot armor runes from here. So I did get some, but they are uh, common. So I can. I want to get some uncommons. Let's see if I can do that. <laughs> there you go, I got one. And then you can also look at the substats here. Uh, try to find a good one for you. So let's talk about the raid real quick. So don't auto battle the raid. Playing the raid in auto battle will make you lose a lot of damage as your champions will, will not be as proficient as you. Um, I think auto battling the raid on dragon is not as bad as the other ones. The other phases have minions on the side. So your champions will be targeting those. So I don't think it's, as, it's that bad auto battling the dragon. We'll actually throw it in auto battle right now. Show you guys my team. So it's uh, Hera lead, Kara, Salvador, Venomate, and we'll bring in a healer. Illyria. So I said don't auto battle the raid, but I'm going to be auto battling this and we're going to continue. Don't invest too much in Sanjil. As of right now, he's one of the best healers because he's not working as intended. Uh, he will be fixed in version 1.1 because of his, heal, uh, his regeneration healing. He's doing 40% healing instead of 20. So they're going to fix that soon. Uh, hopefully the fix does not make him unusable because I actually have invested in him. 19. Don't waste your blue scrolls. Try and upgrade abilities that are meaningful. Example is Tromgar. Uh, once he receives a stun on his basic attack and his counter attack on his taunt, he becomes amazing. So plan out who you want to upgrade. Also in the beginning of the game, healers should just have their heal upgraded. As it's their strongest ability in that role, the rest of the abilities won't be doing much. If you're not a will, then don't refresh your energy more than 3 times in 24 hours. It costs 50 drag coins to reset. I think we went over this. For the first 3 resets, the next 3 will cost 200 each. And the three after that, 200. So you will run out of dragons if you do that. So that's about it for the do's and don'ts. I'll have the rest of this uh, raid should be finishing soon playing in the background. So if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, or if you guys want to see more Dragon Champions video, make sure you guys like this video. And if you guys are new to the channel and would like to see, then hit that subscribe button. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.